as a beginner, you are floated with information. And I do believe that we need to look back to instead look what natural athletes were able to do with minimal equipment and knowledge about training. Here you can see many champs of the 40s, 50s and even the 30s built incredibly good and even great natural physique without much equipment and without much knowing what they were doing. But they all had something in common. They were getting very strong on basic compound lift and they keep it stupid simple. The first exercise we will build upon the program is the deadlift. The deadlift is one of the best exercises you can do for your whole body, for your general strength level and for the development muscle-wise of your posterior chain. This exercise is terribly efficient to build a strong back, overall the upper, mid and low back, to build strong hips and also a strong posterior chain, so thin glutes and hamstring. But it is also very good to develop athleticism and strength in the low body overall. Your goal on this movement will be to build up to four plates to reach intermediate level, which will be a whole trademark of general uh, enough general strength to then be able to play with variation or to focus on other things. Keep your back neutral, push through the floor, squeeze your glutes and push your hips through, keep the barbell close to your body. You can use a dead stop on the floor or a touch and go variation, just like I'm showing here. But the key thing here is to put things up and to put them down afterward. Again, when you are about to four plate strength level, you will reach something that is called intermediate level, which is a moment where stupid simple will not work anymore. So you will be able to do more variation and to change up things. But for now, we keep it simple. The second lower body movement that we have to focus upon is the almighty squat, especially the back squat. This exercise is one of the most famous of working out, of training, and for good reason. There is absolutely no other exercise that is so great at building lower body mass and strength. All athletes do it, everyone from a lot of different uh, background and for specific sport do it, so you should do it too. And for it, you will have to reach about three plates of strength level as a one repetition max to claim the intermediate level on it. Make sure to keep the low back stable and neutral, get down to about parallel level and push through your heels and get back up basically. Extend your knees under the load. This exercise is again one of the best for your lower body. And speaking of progression, 2.5 kilo or 5 pounds to make weight jump is the best. For upper body, which is it is my favorite exercise and it is the military press. Doing it standing or seated, I'm showing standing, is one of the most functional and most uh, strength-proof um, movement to show off your upper body strength. Grab a barbell to collar bone level and press it over overhead. Keep everything stable, your hips, your core, your legs, and press above. Your requirement for this uh, exercise will be to go to about one plate. Then we move on to the infamous uh, bench press, which is, uh, I think, the most uh, famous exercise of weight training. The goal is simple. You lie down on the bench and you press a barbell uh, above head from your chest to uh, extending your arms. This exercise is great to build a lot of upper body strength. It is a great test of overall body strength and uh, it will make you able to build great arms, shoulder and chest strength. However, this exercise is most of the, most of the time butchered technique-wise and uh, there is way too much prizes and uh, focus on it. You should remind yourself that there is more than one way to skin a cat and the bench press shouldn't be put on a pedestal like that. I personally do not like this exercise. Uh, it hurt my shoulder and I would advise you to be mindful if you are having some kind of side effects regarding your joint and how you feel. Here I am showing you a close grip variation and showing you how even with a pretty bodybuilding form with a flat back and not much overall body tightness, you can actually press pretty good with good form, good power. The main thing here is actually just to remain in control of the barbell, lowering it under control and then pressing back up while using the bench as uh, some kind of support, just like if you were uh, standing against a wall and pushing something away from you. 
the intermediate level standard for this exercise is most often than not about two plates. So yet again, when you reach about two plates as a one R RM, which is a one repetition max, you are good to go for more advanced variation. Now, we go on to one of my favorite basic exercise, which is a bent over barbell row. This exercise complements very well the deadlift to build the backside and the whole posterior chain. It is also very great to um, bulletproof your posterior chain of injuries, especially the back of your knee, the hips, the lower back, since it will basically force them to work isometrically while rowing something uh, uh, onto you. The goal here is to bend over to about 45, uh, a bit lower, 60 degrees, and then to keep everything stable, but to not be afraid to use a bit of uh, hip extension to roll the weight. It is actually normal and there is no benefit to keep too much um, a good form and a stable body. This is one of the exercises where you will most likely have to use straps. So here I am showing you how to put them on, basically. When you're going with a pronated grip, you just loop them by uh, around by the uh, downside and then you do some kind of motorcycle acceleration motion and you're good to go. If for any reason you would like to do it supinated, you put them around by the uh, upside and you do exactly the same. And here you can see it is limited by my wrist and by the top tip of my finger, which is exactly how they are supposed to be um, positioned. I think that the strength requirement for this, both as a strength standard but also a shoulder uh, injury prevention, should be about two plate and a half, which is slightly over the bent over uh, the bench press uh, strength standard for intermediate level. Now we move on to what would be called accessory lift, and the almighty push-up is actually a great way to keep building chest and to assist yourself with bench press um, strength building and overall upper body mass. Of course, one of the better uh, variation is the dips. When you are able to do 20 to 30 push-ups with good form, you can move on to the dips, which is basically doing the same movement, but with the whole uh, body weight this time. Uh, it is one of the best exercises ever to build chest, triceps and shoulder, um, and also one of the best way to assist your bench press uh, into getting stronger and stronger, but also your overhead press. Basically, this uh, exercise is a cornerstone of many, many great lifter bodybuilder, uh, strongman, powerlifter, and strength athlete overall. It is also even a good replacement for bench press. Now, regarding pulling, if you're very, very weak, the lat pull-down station will be your best friend. You will be able to work all your pulling muscle uh, on the vertical plane without much care for your safety because you will be very, very safe. There is not much way to butcher your movement. Make sure to move your shoulder blade to pull toward you and you'll be good. If you're already strong enough or when you're strong enough, I suggest moving to the neutral grip pull-up form, which is the most joint-friendly variation and also the easiest to master when you move on to free body weight movement. After that, there will be the chin-up with a supination uh, component which will target a bit more the biceps, but with the same back activation. However, be mindful to not extend the arm when you are at the bottom of a motion to prevent any kind of elbow injury. And then the standard pronated grip pull-up will be your next goal. Uh, pull uh, to about chin or slightly uh, above chin level and you will be good to go. Then onto the arm isolation, you will move to uh, dumbbell extension. Overhead is the best to get more long head of the triceps. Uh, for the biceps, normal standing barbell curl, easy bar preferably, will be your best friend to make your biceps work extra and to get bigger and stronger. For your shoulder, lateral raises, uh, which is one of the first exercises I ever did, will be one of the best to help you build capped wider shoulder without injuring anything and that will actually assist you for your overhead presses. Then the bent over rear delt flies will be a good component to uh, balance out all the, all the uh, muscle and uh, things going around your shoulder girdle, your rotator cuff uh, and avoid any kind of injury. Now a quick word on to machine. If you have access to good machine uh, or just decent machine, uh, you can do them. But you need to remind yourself that the goal is to keep getting bigger and stronger.
injury. So just grab some weight and make sure to push your hip through via hip extension. Same thing for your abs actually. Uh, it is good to work on your abs for more core work, for more um, muscle balance, strength balance. But uh, a lot of people are butchering this exercise. I'm just showing hanging leg raises. The goal is to achieve spinal flexion and to bring your knees up and closer to you, not to just rise them. This is a hip flexion component. Here, I'm actually working my abs, even if it looks a bit uh, loose form-wise. And then finally, a very, very key element uh, I wish I knew earlier is to uh, use some decompression to boost spinal and low back recovery. I am showing you um, here a variation with a lat pull-down. I'm getting under the weight, I'm using straps to not be relying on my grip strength, and I just wait, I just relax. The weight will be pulling me up, and it will increase the stretch on the spine and on the muscle of the back. That way, I am actually decompressing everything and speeding up, helping the disc, intervertebral disc recovery, and limiting any kind of pain I should uh, maybe experience from all the heavy lifting I just did, especially from lower body movement. And I advise you to do the same each time you walk out. Lastly, I want to speak about the focus component. You need to keep focus between every set. You need to rest accordingly one to three minutes between every set and make sure to stay focused and do not use your phone. This will kill your focus, this will kill your drive, and you will be thinking about a thousand. Now, question-wise, I would like to advise you on a few things. First things first, if there is no machine, it's not that machine are bad. It is because I want this program to be done by absolutely everyone. And not everyone has access to go to replace real delt work with red vest spec deck. Do it. If you'd like to include some leg curl, you can. It's just not something you should concern yourself with uh, first and foremost. Then there is the isolation component. Many of you will ask, well, there is no upper chest movement. There is no lower chest movement. There is no inner lat movement. You have to understand that as a beginner, you are weak overall. You have no weak point, you have no strong point. You are just weak overall. And if you're doing all the movement I just showed you with correct form and with a full range of motion, you will develop everything forwardly. Your upper chest will be worked with overhead presses and via dips and bench press. Your lats will be worked via shin up, rowing and pull up, so you're good to go. Um, regarding neck, calves uh, work, uh, if you want to use uh, uh, some training component and to do them, you can, but it will be at the end of a workout and it shouldn't be strenuous. For neck, I recommend to use a neck flex harness, link in the bio, and for calves, just normal standing calf raises. You do not need more forearm work, uh, except if you are maybe doing any kind of specific uh, sport that is using them most, but then this program is not for you as this program is for general whole body strength and muscle building, okay? Lastly, uh, I would like to emphasize the fact that uh, the requirement, the intermediate level requirement are still uh, general. This means that you will have some strong point and you will have some weak point. You will be, for example, very uh, strong and very fast to improve on your bench and your squat, but not much on your overhead press and your deadlift. It is okay and it is normal. Uh, this program is just made to make you go on the intermediate level as fast as possible, but actually the moment stupid simple stop working, you will be intermediate and you will be able to play with more variation. Okay? Lastly, there is a program, the Summarize program. Please do not change everything. It is made this way for a purpose. You can trust me, I've been doing this for 10 years now. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to other fellow beginner training that you know, and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>